What's going on everybody? It's your boy Video Vibes and welcome to another video. Hopefully, and I pray you guys have a great week and being safe under these circumstances. But in today's video, we're gonna go into a Q&A, something I haven't done for quite some time. I haven't, don't remember the last time I did it, but um, I did announce a Q&A on my Instagram. I leave it up for about 24 hours and just get some questions from you guys, whether it be fashion related, lifestyle related, mental health, fitness, whatever. Um, and just go through all the questions because some, you know, it's good to gauge with the viewers like you guys, if you have any questions that you might have for me. So um, once again, follow me on Verdugo Vibes Instagram handle. And also don't forget to check out my Rob Verdugo podcast. I upload a podcast every Tuesday and a video like this every Thursday. So give it a like, subscribe to the gang. We're on the road to 20K. Oh man, I can fucking taste it. <laughs> Oh my days. But anyways, uh, we'll get into the first question, which is, how's the fitness journey coming? You are a huge reason I lost 90 pounds. Stay strong. Holy fuck. Bro, I read that and was like, that's massive props. Like, congratulations, and the grind doesn't ever stop. So keep it up. And in terms of my journey, since November time, uh, not even, yeah, probably November, October, I've lost about 10 kilos, funny enough. Um, and I just haven't really... Like I've eaten my zinger boxes and gone out to eat with mates and stuff, but I make sure I try to balance out the day's caloric intake. That because that's really all it is is your intake. If you're in a surplus, you gain weight, deficit, lose weight. Simple enough. In terms of like nutrients and shit, though, I definitely have to be in a lot more careful with that and a lot more focused on it, which is something I'm trying to do. But in terms of that, just been going to gym for like the last month and a half, and it's been good. It's like you know, it's a good stress reliever. But um, yeah, so far, so good. Next up, what's your favorite piece of clothing slash pair of shoes that you've ever owned? Favorite piece of clothing would have to be my uh, BK bare knuckles, black and red striped denim jacket. It's the, most, it's the perfect fitting jacket I've ever owned. It's white, it's cropped, it fits beautiful in the shoulders, sits just on my waist. I can wear it like so many variety of different ways. It's very versatile and it's quite a semi-statement piece as well, which is good. So that has to be my favorite piece of clothing. And the shoes, you guys know, uh, Saint Laurent Paris SLP Ranger boots from Four Winter 14, I think. I could be wrong, but yeah, they're like, oh, like I would never, ever get rid of them. I wanted to start a last year or something, but nah, no fucking way. Next up, a bit of a touchy one is how's about, I don't know why I wrote that. It's probably, uh, it's obviously here, but how's the Corona, how, how's the whole Corona situation going? Okay. I'm quite blessed to be in Australia um, because it is pretty isolated from everyone else as it is. And yeah, it is getting a bit uh, right now. And I think it might get better or it could get worse. I don't know. But all I can say is I just pray and send my thoughts and prayers to everyone throughout the entire world that's going through this situation as well. And it is hard, but I know we're all gonna get through this. I know it for a fact. Society will be completely different. Don't get me wrong. So society is gonna change. I really feel like a lot of people won't buy from China anymore. As shit as it is to say, I feel like a lot of people after this are gonna realize, hey, let's support local businesses because of certain stuff happening with the masks and the sanitizers and stuff. But I don't know, man, just be safe, wash your fucking hands, don't cough on anyone, it's not a fucking joke, it pisses me off when I see shit like that, like, it's not funny, like, you do realize that you're giving a virus to someone who that certain someone could see an elderly or be in that state of not being a bit of a higher risk, and it just, yeah, it's fucked, but I don't know, it's... I'm in limbo, honestly, and I'm just a bit paranoid, but yeah. Uh, moving on, we have a not so touchy subject <laughs> is, how much do you feel your style has changed over the past year? Love you and your vids. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you for watching the videos and everyone that watches, I really do appreciate it. It means so much. But in terms of my style and how it's changed over the past year, I actually did a podcast on Tuesday on my style and progression. So Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud as well. Go ahead and check it out. It's just my evolution of when I was a white fuck boy, try hard steez to who I am today, which is still a white fuckhead type steez. But yeah, I went in depth of like the brands that I was into, like and how it changed and my maturity and my age becoming a major 
impact on how I dress. So yeah, in terms of how my style has changed, uh, I feel like from last year, this year, not much has changed. So next up we have, what are your next 100% purchases? Number one, Dark Shadow Ramones. They are on my list. I will get some, not soon, in a while. I will get some. They're very hard to find. I don't know why. It's like everyone just wants a pair. I bought them like start of 2016 and everyone fucking wants them and I want them back again. And then secondly would have to be my Rick Owen trousers, my TE material trousers. Long or short, I don't mind. But yeah, that's next on my list. In the future, obviously. Next up, oh my God, I can't talk. Hi. hi <laughs> I wrote here, hi, how? <laughs> how high do you think high-waisted trousers should be? Above the belly button or not? And this goes... This is very personal and more like subjective to me because for me personally, I have short legs. So then I tend to wear my trousers a bit more high waisted on my belly button, pretty much, I'll admit it. Because if you have, if you're a much taller guy and you have long legs and you wear high waisted trousers, it's not really gonna work just because your proportions won't be balanced unless you're going for that intended high waisted look with the cropness and a bulky shoe. I personally just believe that I like to have mine balanced and keep it nice and balanced. Next up is favorite steal of 2020 so far. My bomber jacket, which I cop thrifted for eight or twelve dollars. I did a video on it like two weeks ago or three. I wore like I've been wearing that so much and it's just impeccable. Like quality is astounding. It was like eight, ten bucks. Like what the fuck? Leather sleeves, nice wool in like. Um, exterior on the front and the back, obviously. But yeah, moving on. Next up is best SLP slash Dior boots alternative. Um, Sanj, you've actually answered this question. I watched the video not that long ago. So go ahead and check it out. I'll leave a card and everything here. But basically he goes in depth of a brand. I believe he's called From The First, I think. But with that brand, this is the one thing he went into detail was you can get the alternative and it can look identical and give off that identical look that you want. But if you're a fashion head like me and like other fashion YouTubers and you care about the brands and you're more based on brand royalty, brand loyalty, sorry, you're not going to get that satisfaction of having that Dior Navigate from 2007, that historical grail piece. You're going to have something that's identical to it and have that same look. So whether you have an actual emotional attachment to that is very meh. But in terms of me personally, I believe that you can go for a Doc Martin 1461, I think. Um, I believe it's the 1461. I'll leave, you know, details here. But you can have the, you can color in the stitching. You can wrap the laces like the Dior Navigates and it'll look very similar. And it's a Doc Martin. Everyone still knows it too. So it's kind of its own wave. But next up uh, is <laughs> what's your current plans regarding jobs, school, travel, clothing, etc.? This question just adds to my anxiety today, honestly. <laughs> you know what? I don't give a fuck. I really don't care. But the current plans right now in terms of job-wise, because the virus is running around and running amok, not many places are hiring. There are like businesses, small businesses that are closing down, unfortunately, for a couple of weeks, maybe in a month. We don't know. But there are companies that just aren't hiring. But I'm in like the midst of getting some volunteer work for marketing for a company. I won't say because it's not you know set in stone yet. But apart from that, going for internships and that's just the way to go. It's just getting out there. Look, if you know someone, if you're watching this, you know someone, let them know about your boy vibes. I will do anything. <laughs> and then in terms of like like clothing and stuff, I've got a list of stuff I want to get. I did a wish list last week. Go ahead and check it out. And then the traveling, I definitely want to go back to Japan. That is like on my list for next year. Yeah, probably next year. I definitely want to go back. Maybe even on my own if I want to and just explore Shimo Kitazawa because that is a fucking vibe. On Speaking of Japan, uh, thoughts on Vision Day. So Vision Day by another YouTuber, Kenjima, Kenjima. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. I've been watching that dude since like a thousand subs. Like the progression's fucking nuts. But in terms of his own brand, it's good that he has a vision for it in terms of me and my boy Ruben, once again on the pod, he was featured last week. We spoke about this before the pod, actually. And we're talking about Vuja Day and how it's more based on pieces that... It's more stuff that people want, and that's what he wants to give. It's not like a... It's not like he's ripping off a certain designer from head to toe. It's 
People want like the perfect cargo. He's going to give the perfect cargo. Someone wants the perfect gray blank hoodie. He can give that. It, it's That's his vision. And I respect that. And the quality from Japan. Just fucking. <gasps> so good. Next up is why do you enjoy fashion? Uh, quite simply, it's a good form of like a creative outlet for me. And also it's a great way to express my emotions and how I'm feeling and the way I feel about so in outfits and clothing, I can base that on my body, along with the tattoos, obviously. But with clothing, it's just my form of... It's just expressing how I feel and my creative outlet, pretty much. It's just... Yeah. That's that's all I could really say. But next up, what's the five-year plan? Have no fucking idea. All I know is I want to move out in the next two and a half years, if I can. <laughs> That'd be good. Moving on. Uh, favorite singer slash musician. Uh, it'd have to be the quote here. My thoughts, my enemy. You guys know Mac Miller, who passed away tragically in 2018 in September. Uh, favorite artist of all time. It's just, yeah, that's, if you know me, you know why I love Mac Miller in the first place, but he did get me through a lot of shit. Whenever I was feeling depressed, I'd listen to Mac's music. Even though sometimes it did make me worse, most of the time it made me better. And I can only thank him, you know, from, can only wholeheartedly say he was a big influence in my life. We've got a couple more. Don't want to... No, go let this go for too long. Um, next one is, is getting fit necessary to style clothes better? Or is it a confidence thing? Getting fit and feeling fit definitely helps with feeling confident in terms of clothing. But one thing I definitely highly suggest is dressing for your body type. If you're a bit like me and a bit more broad shouldered, a bit more wide, maybe hide. Like for me, I have quite a wide waist. So I tend to wear like a wide shirt to cover up and make sure you don't really see the curvature on my beautiful fucking waist, boy. But dress for your body type and get fit. I mean, it's, you know, it's been healthy, bro. Like, why would you not? You know what I mean? So yeah, it's confidence thing as well. It can help, it goes hand in hand. So I will leave it at that. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this Q and A. Don't forget to subscribe, give it a like. It really means a lot. Don't forget to check out my recently uploaded video, recently did some podcast, whatever, whatever. And I'll see you guys on the next video on Verdugo Vibes. I'm out guys.